Hello guys, it's Mars, and since the pig eye dissection did so well, today I'm recording a sheep heart dissection for y'all, since I love y'all so much. So first we had to dry off our heart, we went ahead and looked at the external structures like the aorta and arteries, and then we started to cut off fat, but we didn't cut off all the fat. Then we went ahead and sliced into the heart. Chocolate. <laughs> the ones with like the berries in them? Berries? Like it has like a blueberry inside of it or a cranberry. <laughs> Here I wanted to set and showed y'all a good cross section and now I'm going to connect both sides of the heart so y'all can see the full heart. <laughs> then I went ahead and examined the heart by hand. Here I show one half of the heart. I don't know what half this is, but inside you can see the heart strings and you can see how the heart contracts so it can beat. You can also see the ventricle and atrium. At least that's what I believe they're called. Please connect me if I'm wrong. Then I went ahead and showed the other half, which does not have as visible heart strings. Why is this dripping so much? I like my cheese drippy, bruh. I like my heart <laughs> Unfunny jokes aside, here is, I believe, the side of the heart, and we can see a good view of the aorta and some of the arteries, as well as the atrium. It's kind of hard to tell, but I believe the part of the heart I'm currently molesting is called the pulmonary trunk, which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs so that it can receive oxygen. Then I proceed to place my finger into another part of the heart, which I believe might be the superior vena cava, which is the largest vein in the body. However, since every heart is different, and since some of these arteries and veins have been severed, it is a little bit hard to tell, so I could be wrong. Chinese finger trap in Ohio. <laughs> I apologize for the weird unfunny jokes. I was currently on two hours of sleep and a vitamin energy when I walked in here, so I was loopy. Then I proceeded to dissect the heart even more because I was trying to see the heart strings and I was trying to see where that cavity that seemed like a dead end to me before went to. Here we can get a better view of the chordae tendinae. I apologize if I pronounced those wrong, but basically those are the tendons that allow the heart to beat. Then I proceeded to talk about chocolate again for some reason. Or like a, a nut chocolate. No. <laughs> then I proceeded to dig into another half of the heart. Oh yeah, now I can see it better now. It's like actually more stuff in here. And now it makes the second heart. I also was able to get a better view of the ventricles and the atriums. Oh yeah, this one right here comes out. Where's this come out? As you see, I was really enjoying my time digging into the heart. Isn't the body amazing? Then I had proceeded to refinger the dead end so I could see where it went to. Please enjoy the next few seconds of me fingering the heart. 
Oh yeah, this one I think has heartstrings too. Let's call like trees. What's this little hole on top? Oh, just like texture. Oh yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like a mushroom. Little holes inside, it. and that's how it soaks up all the juice. Oh yeah, and then this can go into it. And then out this. Yeah, yeah, here's the uh And after that examination I began to clean up. I really hope you enjoyed this dissection. And again, if I got anything wrong, please enlighten me. We're all trying to learn here. And also, there is a fetal pig dissection at the end of the year, and I can't wait to share it with y'all. And I proceed to fondle the heart one last time for y'all. And I hope you have a nice day. I love y'all, as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all later.